Hi guys, just finished a box of tissues. So I thought, let's make another balloon powered car from basics. So we have a cardboard box. I've got some bamboo canes, or barbecue skewers. Just check them for width. Yeah, they're going to be long, wide enough. We can put wheels on either side. Wheels, I'm going to use CDs. CDs. Let's go through the basics. <laughs> CDs, they've got a big hole in the middle. So you need to fill the hole somehow. You can hot glue plastic bottle tops on. Push a hole through them. And that holds it nicely. If you haven't got a hot glue gun, you can just tape them in place. In fact, if you tape them, you can actually adjust them a little bit to line them up. Or, if you happen to have a 3D printer, you can print some hubs that go in the middle. So, for the purpose of this exercise, I'll probably use those two, and two of these that have already got the hubs in them, to save me a bit of time. There will be a link in the video description on how to glue bottle tops onto the middle of your CDs, although I think you can probably work it out. Next thing we'll need is some drinking straws. Now, in the past, I would have recommended you use these. Available from various uh, coffee shops and that sort of thing for your uh, smoothies. Because they're a good size. You don't want your bamboo cane to be tight in there or it won't spin freely. So one that's as loose as that is probably ideal. That's a slightly smaller one. If you go much smaller than that, they start getting a bit tight. I'll just go and get a paper straw because they've all changed to paper straws now. Here's a paper straw, and you'll see that's quite a bit thinner. That goes right inside there easily. So, although you've got nice clearance there, because these bamboo canes tend to be bowed a bit in the middle, when you've got that going right through the middle of a straw, it might be clear at the ends and it might be touching in the middle. So it doesn't spin as freely as it should do. And that's all friction and that slows you down. Anyway, what we're going to do is, in this case, probably just tape. You could hot glue them or any other type of glue. A straw, front and back, to hold the axles in place. If you're stuck with smaller ones like this and you are worried about your bamboo cane rubbing against the middle, you could cut them into short lengths so that they're only held in place at the ends and there's a bit of space in the middle there for them to slop around. I might do that. Scissors. Right, where's a midpoint? I've got a ruler. This one is just under 20 centimetres, it's about 19, so if we go there, that'll be the middle, and then half of that will be about four and a half.
Right, when you've cut them like that, they go a bit squishy, so good idea to open them out again. Just looking for something I can just make sure that's round again. Right, your next problem, once you've done this, is you're going to need a tube for your balloon. You can get away with just getting some sticky tape. Wrapping it round on itself backwards so it's sticky on the outside. Put that straight on there and put the balloon straight on top and that will hold the balloon in place most of the time but sometimes they fly off and come loose. What you really want is a tube for your balloon. Something like this. These are ones that I 3D printed for another project, but I'm going to assume you haven't got a 3D printer. Something like that pen would be ideal. I think that pen's still working, so we won't use that. If you do use a pen, obviously you need to wash it out well before you use it. I've got quite a few of them. That might do. That might do. If you go too small, then the balloon, you need to tie the balloon on to stop it coming off. And if it's too big all the way down, it lets the air out too quickly and all the air comes out in one go. You really want one with a slightly narrower end. All these ones that I printed, they've all got different sizes, different sized nozzles at the end for different power. We'll go for one of these. What we need to do, this is where it will get messy. So we need to pull the insides out. I'll go and get some pliers. All right. Make sure I've got my bin ready. Okay, that's come out. That's the bit that has the ink in it, that just fell out. So if you get hold of that, you'll get filthy fingers, although that looks like it's got a plastic outside, it'll be mucky up the inside. And then at this end, pull that out. Now, I'm just looking, that looks like that's a plastic sleeve over the outside that we can probably take off. Just depends what sort of plastic tube you can get hold of. I will go and wash this out because I'm going to have to blow into it to blow the balloon up. But I think we can probably cut it off I'll cut it off just there and we'll have a that sized hole if if that doesn't let us and if that doesn't let enough air out then we'll cut it a bit further up but I think if I cut it about there with a sharp knife sharp knife onto a piece of wood going to go through. Yeah, that's going through. Oh, it's got an interesting shaped hole. Well, we'll find out if that works. If that doesn't work, we'll have to open that hole up a bit. That may be too small. 
The other thing you've got to be able to do is get your finger on it to stop the air coming out while you, when you finish blowing it up, so you can release it to let the car go. I'll go and wash that out anyway. So I've washed that out. I've only got fairly small blooms here. So we're not going to be an extremely powerful car here. But we'll just see if we can blow that up and see if that stays in place. If it doesn't stay in place, you can put a rubber band around it to give it extra grip. Okay, so I'm holding it there to stop the air coming out. And I'm holding it there to stop the air coming out. So that looks like that's going to work. Okay, so this one, which way up do we want to do it? It really doesn't make much difference. We're just going to stick that on there. got two choices you can blow it up and then try and stick it on there or you could tape it on there and blow it up by holding the whole car up or if we cut this a little bit we could actually have a little slot for it to go in I think we'll go for just taping it in place first time, see how it goes. I'm going to tape these on the bottom. Probably a good idea to put one of these through to help line it up. Hot glue would be ideal. Oh, I've got that thing. Let's try using that. Now, unlike a rubber band powered car, there's not much stress on here because we're not pulling against it with a rubber band so these should stay in position fairly well make sure they're sticking out a bit at the side so the wheels don't touch the bodywork Don't pull them tight or you'll crush the straw. I mean, even now I can feel that's not as free as I would like it to be. Yeah, I don't like that. That's not going to be as free as it should be. We'll try it like this and then we'll see if we can improve it if we have to. Right, wheels. Start at this end. I 
It's a good tight fit. Okay. The other end. Make sure they can go backwards and forwards a bit so they're not rubbing tight. Right, attach the balloon. So we'll try just taping it in place first, but that means I've got to be able to get... Yeah, well, we'll try it. We'll try just taping it there. bit of that around that's be a bit further forwards. Do you think this is gonna work? Soon find out, won't we? Okay, let the air out. Is that going to be enough to push it forwards? Right, let's go for it. Not exactly shooting off, but we did get a reasonable start, didn't we? Depends how far you want to go. That was about three meters. Should we cut the end of that nozzle off, see if it goes faster with a bigger hole? I'll give it one more go like that, and then we'll cut that nozzle, make it a bit bigger. Or you could just use a bigger balloon. A bit more distance that time. I think I've got one bigger balloon. We'll have a look. So I've got one that is much bigger. Seems a shame to use it when it's the only one I've got left.
that'll do for now. I think I can blow that one up further, but we'll just see how it goes with that much. Apart from hitting the wall, we were doing fine. Let's see if we can go back the other way. Going a bit right, so I'll point it a little bit left. Perfect. So, bigger balloon, obviously more power went further. I think that'll do. I don't think I need to do any more modifications to it. So that's about as simple as you can get. Cardboard box, drinking straw cut into four pieces, two bamboo canes for the axles, four CDs for the wheels. I would recommend CDs rather than cutting them out of cardboard. They're more reliable. And then if you can use the plastic bottle caps for the hubs, you'll need eight of them, two for each CD. Oh, sticky tape and then plastic tube. I used one from a felt pen and balloons and a cardboard box. And depending on what size balloon you're going to use, depends on how far you're going to go. Job done. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.